A narcissistic mother is a toxic individual who manipulates her children throughout their lives. She will employ numerous tactics to confuse and control her offspring, and like other people in her life, she will emotionally abuse them when they fail to please her. These manipulative tactics don't end when they become adults either. They simply become more difficult to see. While the manipulation doesn't end when a narcissist's children grow up, there are some more common tactics a narcissistic mother will use on adult children. She has to be a little less obvious when she's trying to manipulate them, and so these techniques tend to be more insidious. Here are 10 of the most common techniques your narcissistic mother will use to control you as an adult child. Narcissistic mothers use triangulation to confuse your relationships. Triangulation is basically playing both ends against the middle. It's the favorite tactic of a narcissistic mother when her children are young, and she continues to use it after they become adults. She may tell you one thing and your spouse something entirely different, for example. As it did when you were a child, this can create confusion and distrust in your relationships. That's exactly what your narcissistic mother wants. She doesn't want you to feel as though you can trust anyone other than her. Her triangulation may not stop with your personal relationships either. She might even try this kind of tactic with your work colleagues as well. It can hamper your efforts to further your own career, and in some cases, it could even cost you your job. Narcissistic mothers are ultimate nags. Narcissistic mothers will sometimes use a tactic like constant nagging to get you to do what they want, just so they will stop talking about it. They won't just nag you about what you're doing or not doing either. They will nag you about what you wear, where you go, who you go out with, and much, much more. They want to insert themselves in every part of your life because they want you to be dependent upon their opinion. Your narcissistic mother's dream is to have you asking them every time you're going to do something. They want to have input into every decision you make. Even if they have to nag you into submission, they are willing to do it if that gets the result they want. Narcissistic mothers are the worst critics. As a child, your narcissistic mother criticized you all the time, and that won't stop now that you're an adult. The criticism will continue until the day you put a stop to it. It's that simple. Your narcissistic mother will criticize your lifestyle, your work, and your intimate relationships. She will have something negative to say about virtually every aspect of your life. She's trying to get you to stop making decisions until you consult her. The thing is that even if you did what she wants, it still won't be enough. She would still find something to criticize. You have to realize that there is no way you will ever be able to please her. Narcissistic mothers spy on their adult children. Your narcissistic mother will not hesitate to spy on you and your life. She will use your social media feeds and any other form of communication she can hack into to see what you're up to. Once she knows, she will use that information to manipulate and control your behavior. If she's left alone with your phone, she'll get into it if she can. She'll look at any kind of communication that you might otherwise consider to be private. For a narcissistic mother, there is no such thing as privacy, particularly when it comes to her children. Narcissists consider the other people in their life to be extensions of their own identity. And as such, they don't have any privacy from her. She doesn't consider spying on you to be something she shouldn't be doing. And you probably already know this because she never has. Narcissistic mothers talk about their children behind their backs. Your narcissistic mother will also talk about you behind your back. She will do this to your spouse, your work colleagues, and your friends. She will find out what she can from them so she can use that information to control you. 
She will also not hesitate to use that triangulation to control your relationships. She may tell friends of yours who she doesn't like that you've said something about them. Imagine her saying something like this to a love interest. Oh, you're not nearly as heavy set as my son said you were. She may also tell friends or colleagues something you consider to be intensely private. She will reveal your secrets, sometimes just to get a dramatic reaction. She can do some serious damage with this kind of technique, and if she believes it will benefit her, she won't hesitate to do it. Narcissistic mothers are ultimate gaslighters. Another favorite tactic of the narcissistic mother is gaslighting. It's a common technique used by all narcissists, but the narcissistic mother is particularly adept at this toxic tactic. Her goal? Make you question your own reality. If she can make you feel like you can't trust your own perceptions, she is certain you will come to her for clarity. If you do that, you can also be certain the clarity she gives you will be her twisted interpretation. It's another way she is looking to make you dependent on her. Narcissistic mothers always compare their children. This is another incredibly damaging technique your narcissistic mother will use to damage your self-esteem and have you come crawling to her for approval. She will compare you with your siblings, your friends, and the children of her friends. You can be certain that you will never measure up against anyone she compares you to, and it can have a devastating effect on your close relationships. She will engage in these comparisons right in front of you and in a manner that you can't refute. She will make it clear to everyone that you are less than and not good enough with her constant comparisons. It can be incredibly damaging to your self-esteem. Narcissistic mothers expect immediate results. When you need something, she takes her time. But when your narcissistic mother needs or wants something, she expects an immediate response. If you are unwilling or unable to get her what she asks for right away, she will begin criticizing you. Then, when you do get her what she wanted, she will begin complaining about how it's not enough or how it doesn't matter now. After all, she needed it earlier. It doesn't matter how demanding the request, she expects that you will attend to it right away. If you delay at all, she sees that as a problem with your priorities. You don't prioritize her needs. Most narcissistic mothers teach their children from an early age to prioritize their needs. This often creates codependent children who are willing to ignore their own needs in favor of those of their mother. That suits the narcissist just fine. Narcissistic mothers don't show up to your important events. On that note, narcissistic mothers won't show up to those events you consider important, or they'll be terribly late. It's another way to show you that you're not the important one in the relationship. It's a more subtle way of demonstrating power and control over the situation. They can't bring themselves to show you that they care about something you've done. While they see you as an extension of their own identity, they can't allow you to be in the spotlight. They feel that somehow harms them, and so they show how much power and control they have over you by failing to be on time or even show up at all for something you consider important. Narcissistic mothers are never there for you. Finally, you can never expect your narcissistic mother to be a source of nurturing comfort. Narcissists really can't do that for the people in their lives since it requires empathy. Narcissists don't have the capacity to feel empathy in a truly meaningful way. They really don't understand and can't imagine what it might be like to walk a mile in your shoes. All they can focus on is getting their own needs met. This is their number one goal in life. It requires an almost constant flow of adoration, known as narcissistic supply. They can't really live without it since they need it to prop up their self-esteem. 
Without empathy, it's difficult for them to show compassion. They also don't have the healthy identity mechanisms necessary to self-soothe, and thus, they don't really know how to soothe others. That's why your narcissistic mother was never able to provide a true sense of comfort in the difficult times and events in your life. Finally, a narcissistic mother is about the furthest thing from the widely accepted cultural image of what a mother is supposed to be. She is not nurturing or compassionate. Instead, she is self-absorbed and abusive. She will not hesitate to use any of these 10 abusive tactics to manipulate and control even her adult children. To free yourself, you'll need to see her behavior for what it is and exert control over your own life. The first step in the healing process is understanding the roots of your narcissistic mother's behaviors. That's why the next video about what makes her so abusive has valuable insight that will help you understand her better. The more you know and understand, the easier it will be to understand your own behavior. So go and watch that video next. Thanks for watching.